I talked a bit about choiceless thresholds and really what that amounts to is something that's crossed over that one has no choice on. It's going to happen and this is why what I'm bringing forward today is about inevitabilities which is very much related to choiceless thresholds. This could be furthermore related to timelines, things that are inevitable in the timeline of this reality. And this reality is all about time, obviously. Saturn being a big symbol of it, the timekeeper, the snake, so on and so forth. We don't need to get into all of that. But time is very much an important factor of note that one needs to pay attention to all the time. And it's constantly creating choiceless thresholds in one's life. The most obvious example is death. That's an obvious choiceless threshold that inevitably meets everyone in this reality. That's just a straight up fact that can't be denied. So the other aspect to think upon is the choiceless threshold that I've been talking about is what's to come, the immensities that are to come. This is a threshold that It doesn't matter what one thinks about, how one wants to conceptualize their place in this existence, or what this reality is all about. There are inevitable thresholds of time that occur in this place. It's a cycle. There are cycles. Yes, cycles in this psycho circus, if you will. That's all based on time. Another way to look at it is it's based on grids or graphs that constantly move us forward. We really have a very limited amount of movement as individuals. This is also what I meant by the tightrope walk. So there's this idea that especially those who live high-level Western lifestyles that they have so much freedom of movement. And that's not really the case. If one carefully observes how things operate here in this circus reality, there's very, very little movement that is allowed for anyone, no matter how much so-called freedom one thinks that they have. So, inevitabilities is what I'm drawing into with this message. Things that can't be stopped, no matter how much one wants them to be stopped. We can't just wish the inevitable away. We can't just think positive New Age thoughts. And yeah, that's very much tied into this whole aspect. People thinking in the New Age line of mentality where they can just create everything of their own reality. It's just a farce. You're not going to prevent inevitabilities, especially immensities. You have zero power against that. None of us do. We are completely powerless except for how to face it. How to prepare inside of ourselves for these things to come. And the choice that we're going to have, or choices that we are going to be able to make. That's our power and how we're going to face them. Are we going to face them with absolute panic? Or, just like being mentioned yesterday, through choiceless awareness. So not panic, but you just face it head on with courage. That's what the heart is about. So the heart is all about facing things with courage and not panicking which is all of the mind so when things get dark and ugly how does one face that how does one face a true emergency the inevitable immensities that people can't even fathom yeah i'm still talking about what's to come of course i am in my belief there are these things that no one can even fathom inevitabilities that's what timelines are all about every beginning has an ultimate ending 
So no different than the microcosm of one's life. It had a beginning and thus it has an ending. Well, this reality is built upon beginnings and endings. Those who know the Ouroboros symbol obviously get this. The time snake. The time cube, if you will. Everything is about time. And time has a limitation. It inevitably comes to a denouement, if you will. Just like music. It's no different. What song lasts forever? Well, yeah, some people might joke about the song that never ends. Yeah, that's quite funny. You can sing that forever and ever if you want. But really, in... In all music, there's a beginning to the song and there's an end to the song. And this reality and how it's set up, it's no different. So if one wants to analogize through music in that regard, it is a proper and good analogy. So it is a choiceless threshold as well that is going to be crossed. No different than in 2020, that was a choiceless threshold. All of a sudden the world was being shut down. And you could have all the New Age garbage books on your shelf and spout that BS through and through every day. You had no power to stop that inevitability, that choiceless threshold. What did you do about it with all your positive New Age movement guru garbage? Not a damn thing. The only thing that could be done was to face it as an individual, and it's up to every individual how those situations are faced. And of course, the quarantine, as I mentioned before, in comparison to what's to come, that was kindergarten nap time. That's how easy that was in comparison. So I reiterate, yeah, in my belief and view, it's going to get dark and ugly. How is one going to face that? And of course, those who don't like to hear it and just say, oh, this is so negative. Again, just so negative. Well, stop listening. Go listen to some zend out New Age guru garbage where it's just all positive talk, non-stop. I don't turn a blind eye to the garbage of this reality. All the bullshit. Yeah, if you want to just think positive and go have fun, as was mentioned yesterday, the etymology of fun, anyone who decided to look into that. Yeah, you want to just be a fool. You just want to act silly all the time. Goof off. Don't take anything seriously. It's just a circus. Go and have some circus fun. All right, that's all this place is about, and it's all propped up just for your circus good time fun. Yeah, all the pain, all the things that everyone essentially turns a blind eye to to prop up certain lifestyles, a certain percentage of people who can live a better lifestyle. But... The enormous amount of pain that's caused and rendered onto so many others just so you could have your fun. Go ahead, just turn a blind eye and read some more New Age guru garbage. It's all it takes. Just see the joy. Just look to the positive. Yeah, go ahead and try to run your vehicle with the battery only connected to the positive. Go ahead unconnect that negative and unconnect the ground too while you're at it we'll see how far your vehicle gets this whole reality this battery cycle operation is run based on positive and negative it's a duality it's a coin with two sides that should be so obvious it's just unbelievable those who refuse to see because now it is it's a willful refusal to see a will to deny that's all it's about right now and in the heart yeah that emergency alarm 
is sounding off non-stop right now to anyone who's listening. The question again is who is listening and who is ready to face choiceless thresholds and inevitabilities without panicking? Who is ready to face these things, these immensities from the heart? That's the message today. Talk to you again. Take care.